Hey everyone, I just want to get confirmation and make sure y'all can hear me and we'll get into the ritual. I'm just waiting for a comment to see what's up to so make sure you can actually hear me because I kind of went far so you can actually see more of my setup. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like I need a professional cameraman or something. Hi, how's it going? Can you hear me? I kind of can see your comment. See that it said hi. <laughs> I don't know. After I'm going to come up closer. Let me check. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Let's see what's going on real quick. How are you doing? Yes, it's a powerful. Hi, hey, I'm here. Here are you greetings. Yes, here and fine. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. We can get into this ritual. So let's talk before we actually jump in. For everybody that's watching this, um, this was a ritual that everybody was able to have an opportunity to sign up for, whether it be on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. I posted everywhere. So this is a ritual for everybody that did sign up. And it is powerful. The energy of this day by itself is insane as many of you know today is a sacred pagan holiday i cannot pronounce it i do know how to say beltane i do not know how to say wapa wapa notch <laughs> um so you got the natural sacred holidays the energies of the ancients tons of witches celebrating today already being thrown everywhere so so much to tap in and channel but it is also a very powerful black moon with the energy of an eclipse so if it wasn't just enough to celebrate this sacred holiday we also have the energy of a thousand new moons that is meant to enhance creativity psychic abilities transformation healing even attract your soulmate like just meditating alone you would be able to gain so much as this day is said to be a gateway a portal to manifestations, to receiving um, blessings, to channel and pull that all in. And for that reason, uh, plus the fact that it is Belphegor's month, he actually specializes in all of these things. He can help bring forth money, prosperity, abundance, all of that into your life, but he also helps you with creativity. He can help you um, understand the art of necromancy. Belphegor is an ancient god a solar deity and there was actual sacred prostitutes that were dedicated to him and they made offerings of like you know human remains to this deity so he's very much connected with mediumship darker side of spirituality and they say having a close relationship with Belphegor is having a close relationship with satan himself like it is just going to be insane i will review the comments at a later point because i don't want to go back and forth um, but yeah, I just kind of want to give you guys a breakdown of why tonight is just incredible and I'm so excited. Now there's a few different elements to this ritual. First things I am going to be meditating and channeling the energy of the new moon and bringing it into the space before I actually bring forth Belphegor. Um, and then at that point I will do a channeling and invite Belphegor and then I will do a proper, proper invocation. Now I always read my rituals from this book. Some of you have thought that this is a book like you can buy that has pre-rituals in it. These are my own rituals that I write, guys. Um, there are things where I'll research online or may take some inspirations, but these are my own rituals. This book was handmade by Ruth Douglas. Um, and I don't need that right now. <laughs> and yeah, you can actually have one him make you one if you like I believe their website's Wallace Metaphysics so I just wanted you guys to be aware of that and another part of this ritual it's not just me doing the working right we also have Ruick and JS holding space and doing their own ritual Ruick's actually doing a sacrificial rite so everybody that has signed up for this ritual your name has been sent to Ruick 
so he can include you into his own ritual. So it's like two rituals in one. So it's my working and Bruin's working. Um, so I'm just super excited about that. Plus, JS is going to be present there. Plus, Nob's going to be present there. Like, we just got a lot of witches and just so much happening. Now, everything else is pretty much basic. With your guys' with the list, I will, as always, only state your first name. For repeat names, I will do your last initial. This is for your protection and privacy, as that is important to me. With both of the lists, I have sigils on back, including a sigil of Belphegor, sigil of psychic development, prosperity, and overall empowerment. So that's all going to be released. For those who are a little blood squirmish, I am sorry. I just do a little bit of blood offering with a lancet device. Yeah. And we got a incense for Sound of Wood to honor Belphegor and an incense for prosperity. So let's open the doorways of success, money, abundance, and just overall empowerment of your psychic development and taking you to the next level with these major shifts that are coming into your life. So let me go ahead and get the incense lit. Hopefully these candles that I got actually hold up. We will see. opportunities for all of those who are joining me on this sacred night. Lord of the dead, the fire of the inner black flame. Hear me, Belphegor. Hear our call. As it travels beyond the veil, as my voice will carry beyond this realm to welcome and invite you into the space. Rise under the black moon, through me, as I become the vessel of your sexual power. Allow me to be one of your sacred prostitutes, to be a guide to the portals, to the gateways, that you open. Hear us, Belphegor, and enter into the space, into my mind, body, and soul. Hear us, 
Lord of the opening. I invoke you. I invoke you. The great beast of the apocalypse. Teacher of necromancy. The opener of prosperity and success. I invite you, Belphegor, to hear me. As I honor you, the ancient God. I welcome you, Belphegor. Through the elements of earth, fire, water, and air. And into the kingdoms that you rule, I honor you, Buffabor. Bless this night and bless this working and bless everyone who partakes in this journey. I invite everyone who is watching this to give yourself a moment to take a few deep breaths as I channel Belphegor to fully possess me, to allow him to guide this ritual at this point. I am the gateway. I am the one you will meet in your death. For those who are worthy. You want changes. find you. Who are you? Can you see? Can you see beyond your body? 
body, beyond the ego. I will bless and bring forth success, but you will do as I seek in return. In return, I ask for your commitment, your devotion to heal, to awaken, I seek in return for the next three nights you meditate on my name, calling me forth, and I will guide you from there. It is time for the gods to be heard. We have been at the mercy of humans. But not anymore. I help those who in return give me what I want. As gods are rising once again, shall we be seen even amongst the blind? The power of the physical, the power of the mundane is mastery. That is how I will teach you to draw in money and success. The mastery of yourself, of your emotions, your willpower, that is what will separate you. <sighs> Thank you, Belpha Gore, for your messages. As I read off this list of the names, each and one of you will be blessed as your doorways of prosperity will open up. Your ability to transform and to awaken. This will allow you to tap into your creativity, to work on projects. This could be books, this could be building, designing. Most importantly, your psychic empowerment. I'm going to infuse energy into both of these sigils that I've created for this working. And then I will offer blood and then we'll um, read off the names. We're just doing energy working here. As my blood is an offering to Belphegor himself, a connection to the life force, a connection to the body itself, but also a connection to all of us in union that we share tonight with Belphegor.
in tonight's honor and to bless, to ignite, to awaken, to empower Alice, Edwick, Peter, Sean, Eric, Kim, Robin, Nathaniel, William, Andre, Bailey, Brandon, Jeremiah, Alex, Nina, Eric, L. I can never say your name. Nick Sarius, Ruick, Morpheus, Chris, T, Cody, G, Sanyanya, Michael, R, Nicolia, Aladar, Victoria, Pomani, Amanda, Reginald, Jeremo, Dinah, Sarah P, Jackie, Jeff, Anna Marie, Kathleen, Kathleen, Sherry, or Sherryara, Sherry, David, K, Danielle, K, Charles, Sierra, Dina, Cameron S, Chamoka, Parker, Elizabeth, May, James W, myself, Hezekiah, Nalia, James P, James W, Sharon E, Michelle T, Jessica, Michelle C, Billy, Trisha, Francis, Alexandra. Before I release these papers into the flames, we're going to take a moment of here of silence to breathe and continue to connect with Belphegor, to deepen his presence within this space. beyond the bell of the physical and into the spiritual. And we allow the flames to welcome the energies in the new shift that is taking place. To burn away what no longer serves us, to allow us to receive these blessings. <sighs> Thank you, Belphegor. Thank you. down that um, that 
fire thing. <laughs> fire detector quick. I'll be right back, guys. Thank you, Balfagor. I'll be right back. This happens, by the way, with rituals. So, you know, you can't step away. It's fine. Question if I can stand up. Before we finalize this ritual, we are going to just ground with Belphegor and just thank him. And I thank everyone for holding space and being part of this beautiful ritual. Under the black moon and the celebration of this holiday and in honor of Belphegor, we come back to the earth, back to ourselves. We are grateful for you, Belphegor. And you already know you're always welcome up in my space anytime. But if you must go, we understand. May everyone who is part of this ritual feel him as I did tonight. I thank you. How Balfagor. How Balfagor. Time and come and check comments. See where we're at. I feel good, guys. I feel amazing. Like, honestly, I feel like I've been on an energy high all day, as is. Like, oh, I'm shaking. My body's, like, shaking a little bit. Like, you can feel it inside me. Like, I'm like, oof. It is good. It's good energy. I went through a major awakening today, plus an initiation as an oracle for all the spirits. So I've been, I'm just like, today's been a lot going on here. <laughs> so let me come to y'all. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for holding space. And we are going to go over some of the comments. My legs are killing me. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm here with you. Greetings. Yes. Couldn't sleep, so I say it is. Hell Belphegor, infernal blessings. Infernal greetings, everyone. Hell Satan, hell Belphegor. Yes, hell Belphegor. Thank you for... It's just him being here and doing this. He offered to do this ritual and it allowed me to be part of it. I don't usually include myself in these rituals, but this time I wanted to be in because it was like, it was just so powerful and I know so much was going to happen as is. So I'm just truly honored. Um, Mika, you can start tomorrow night. So for those who are wondering about um, what Belphegor's request, he was talking about meditating with him for three nights. You guys can all start that tomorrow night. Ave, 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 yes. Father of the black sun. This felt good. It did. That was amazing. Hell, Belphegor, thank you, Teal. Oh, you are most welcome. It was powerful energy, high, I feel electric. That was amazing. I know I feel electric. Like a lot of times I'll get sweaty or hot. I didn't get sweaty or hot. I felt like I got a major energy boost instead. I feel like I am ready to go dance and celebrate. I don't feel exhausted or drained. A lot of times I do after these kind of rituals. So it's definitely different, it's incredible. I could feel the power off your aura. Oh, that is awesome. Devin feel amazing, so much incredible energy. I love, I love that y'all are picking up. Thank you for your service and blessings, Tila. Oh, it was my pleasure. Trust me, I, I love doing these. I don't do them every month because I only do them if the spirit steps up and says, hey, let's do a ritual. Um, but yeah, I'm always excited when I finally get to do these and it's always so worth it. And like a lot of times I'll like kind of stress, I'm like, oh, we gotta get preparations and all that. But it always turns out so good, like. I felt all the energy too. I'm glad. And I can't wait to hear everyone's feedback. I know a lot of times people will start messaging me or shooting comments of what they resulted in. I know my last ritual with Belial, someone got a major 
promotion. So I'm excited about this one because this one has a lot of direction for money and prosperity. And Belphegor is like, everybody hits a mammon, but I'm like, brah, Belphegor, man. <laughs> and felt but I saw, Kiara, I sadly missed it, but sounds like y'all had a good time. I did a ritual with Hecate, Lucifer, and Belial earlier, and that felt crazy awesome. Oh, that's awesome, Kiara. And guess what? This video will be uploaded. I always upload my lives, um, especially the ritual ones, so that way everyone that did pay for this ritual will have an opportunity to watch it nonetheless. Thank you so much, Tila and Belphegor, Infernal Blessings. Thank you. Lots of energy being felt indeed. Yes, I'm grateful to hear this message. Oh, I'm glad. Yes, make sure for those who are part of the ritual um, to go listen to the channel message from Belphegor just because of that task that he gave all of you. And I just think it's important to hear what these spirits have to say. Hello, Belphegor. Thank you, Tila. You showed me how to do a proper ritual so far. I've been meditating on sun and chance infernal blessings from Denmark. Yeah, it's way how I like to do rituals. You can do rituals however you want. Mine, I think, are fairly simplistic and very intuitive based. Um, I don't do the whole full on ceremonial style. Um, I just do what feels right. I do incorporate elements, you know, crystals, like elements that represent water, air, and fire. So but it's not like full on casting a circle or shit like that. So everybody's different. This is my style and it works for me really good. This was amazing too. I love this. I love all my brothers and sisters. The energy was amazing. Powerful ritual. Much loves. Ave Belfagor. Oh, thank you, Anne Marie. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Much love to you and to our infernal family, to all of you guys. I'll be sure to do the rest of the meditations the rest of the three days. Awesome, T Man. All right, guys. We'll make sure to give a thumbs up before you jump out. Um, and I will pay attention to comments and see what goes on. Thank you for joining me and you have an amazing black moon. May everything like you wish come true because honestly y'all set your intentions. It's going to happen. This is the time to do it. Um, and as well as like enjoy your, I cannot say it, whopper, whatever, whopper notch. <laughs> um, and oh, real quick for Raccoon, what do we have to do for the meditations? The meditations are for the next three nights you meditate with Belphegor. You can use the sigil or you can use the N or create your own chant, whatever you want. I just like to say their name, honestly. Um, just connecting. He wants to build that relationship because he's asking something in return for helping all of you. Thank you, Tila and Belphegor. You are welcome. All right, guys, I am heading out. Thank you guys, everything for the love. Um, and just everything it just it feels very perfect here oh and one last question um by dirty south girl sorry so thank you so much tila and buff i did a blood offering at home for him on his sigil i felt i just felt called i definitely feel the energy should we meditate should we meditate on that i don't use ends myself so that's up to you if you want to all right have a wonderful night good night everyone infernal blessings and then i'm gonna end this